everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ranger Reject chapters 154 through 158. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable well of a kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as a link to our Patreon where we are doing our anime live reaction content, because unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing um, anything on the screen well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So I can have my full setup of the anime and manga side by side and have the audio to boot, which is not only great for busting a botch localization or two, but it's fantastic for when we cover anime original content, such as um, Dragon Ball Daima, which we will be covering today, and Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, which we are covering tomorrow. And the first episode of Thousand Year Blood War is available for free on Patreon, and it does give you a fantastic idea of how I do my anime live reactions. And the more views and subscribers we get on Patreon, the more anime we'll cover. And if you're a $10 patron, you get to choose the series we cover as well, and that does include the next season of Ranger Reject. Um, and there's a stacked fall anime season um, that has begun and more anime on the way. So please check out our Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So, so the last time I covered uh, Ranger Reject, um, D was making his decision on what he wants to do because, frankly, what's going on with him is he has become content, ironically. He has become content. So... He's going to make the decision on how his story is going to end. So let's get to 154 first. See what's in store for us today, which is titled Foot Soldier on the Run, Part 10. Sasana no Makoto, um, uh, wait. Honey, uh, Kazuchi, uh, no Okami, Amano, um, uh, Hagoromo, um, uh, Takumi, uh, Mikazuchi no Kami. There we go. Oh, and this is yellow. Oh, shit. What is he going to do? Yo, that bastard! Uh, so you don't even fear death? Fate truly is a cruel thing. Dude, Yellow, you are such a piece of shit. Good grief, I don't need the performers improvising. Do you two not plan on sticking to a side? We can be on any side as long as you're our enemy. Oh! It's like on that, Yellow! Kisui, it's your turn. Director Foot Soldier D has per, uh, requested you personally. The battle to defeat the Foot Soldier is coming to a close. Will it be the Rangers, our guardians of the, uh, the world who protected us against invaders for 14 years? The Neo Rangers, the new generation who's willing to ally with inv even invaders, um, someone else? Um, are you watching this? A Ranger became an invader and then a Neo Ranger did, did it too. What? You don't have a TV? Just come over then! You're missing out on something amazing! Will our champions prevail or will we crown new ones? Whose hands will shine with the glory of defeating Foot Soldier D? Ah, uh, my shoulder is kind of tingling. Uh, Kisui's um, hypnosis is only temporary after all. You better go to a hospital after this. Yeah, if I find one for invaders. Huh, well, you can always ask Kisui. Um, I said Kisu and said Kisui, I'm sorry. Kisu uh, for help again, D. When this fight is over, come to the Neo Rangers hideout. You have a right to know what exactly led to the creation of the Rangers, the reason why you were born. Dude, this manga is just so amazing. And also, this art is everything, Nagi. Perhaps. Um, I heard the plan. Are you serious? We're counting on you. Sorry to involve you in all of this. Um, I'm fine if you're fine with it. I only have myself to blame for being convinced. No way, I'm the one responsible. Don't you get fussy about this? You accept this too, right, General Knight? Yes, I believe Dee's decision is right. How can Invader um, ever be right? <laughs> I'll still hop out this one time, though. I have my own grievances with the Rangers. Um, that's my baby! Now we just have to believe in him. He's the foot soldier you chose, after all. I'm sure he'll be he'll, uh, do fine on the big stage, too. That's so. Let us quietly move on, then. We adults ought to be working backstage. Hmm? Is that a song? Do I hear a song? What's that? You hear something? Get a camera on it! 
They'll come. Ah! What's D singing? They'll come today too. They never rest. They're the grim reapers of evil's best. There's the foot soldier with the light of justice in their eyes. They'll cut all invaders down to size. He's in high spirits and singing. Win, 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 dragon keepers, but be careful or death messiah will be your demise. Hmm? D, D, D. Wait up, where do you think you're go uh, going, leaving the protagonist behind? Uh, everyone's watching Focky x Focky. Uh, remember, th <laughs> remember this. That's Junior First Class Hisui. Yay! It's your yes, Hisui! I love it! I love it! I love it! Because Hisui is best girl. Everyone knows it. I'm glad everyone knows it. Um, do it! Finish him! No way! A Neo Ranger. General 2 is also, um, approaching, uh, checkmate. No way! Stop the camera! Show a commercial! Ready? Go! Ah! What? Ah, huh? What was far? Who was it? Who won? Yay! We defeated together. The Rangers and the Neo Rangers are both great. You're a great actor after all, Foot Soldier D. <laughs> he is. Um, do we have a tie? Improvise. They both won. Good job to both teams. A round of applause, please. Huh? That's so boring. He ruined it. Yeah! D is a troll. Hey, I'm here. Is that the show you were talking about? Blant was stupid. Hey, <laughs> get fucked! Get fucked, bitch! Yeah! Dean trolled everybody! So chapter 155 is titled Clients. Did you watch TV yesterday? Yeah, the soccer game was absolute fire. They completely turned it around during additional time. Not, not what I meant. Did you not watch the drama? Uh, those two finally got together. Hey, no spoilers! Please stop. Violence is bad. What's up? What's the fuss? Great timing, Wendy. Help us out here. There's Ram. There's the Ram. Junior First Class Hisui, you're welcome here, so uh, please calm down. I told you already. Get your boss out here. Ah, oh, it's her. I'm not good with her, so no. The hell do you mean no? God damn, I'm a ranger too, damn it. Ah. Yeah. Ooh, so this is how you welcome me? These treats probably taste awful. Um, What's with all the noise? Oh, what a noisy alarm. I had a me I had meetings all night, you know. I'm tired. Yellow. He really stays in suit even when uh went asleep. I had a tough day yesterday, including everything that happened after that foot soldier was defeated. Pink Battalion is up to their necks restoring all the destruction that happened during the fight. To think a ranger could become an invader just like that. It might only have been um as a stand in, but she used to be a junior first class. Such a sad loss. Don't play dumb. General Two told me everything. Oh, and you take the word of an enemy? Um, you're the one who started treating them as enemies. If we want to make money defeating invaders, we can't coexist with other organizations. It's a niche business. Uh, it's a niche business we're in. What am I to call com uh, such com uh, competitors if not enemies? Don't tell me you still have uh, the mind of a student. Um, let's see. I sure do. I'm a fresh and young high school girl, after all. I can't say I uh, can't say I relate to an old man's moldy values. <laughs> okay, sweet. All this quite mean. I always thought I was young at heart, playing the hero like this. I guess I can't compare to the vigor of the young, of the truly young. Fine then, come up here. Let's talk. I want to introduce you to someone too. Oh, that was nerve wracking. Very. <sighs> I can't wait. Uh, you know, D is still alive. You know it. Um, let me introduce you. He's a big shot of Milky Way TV, Gucci P. Um, I used to work with his older brother in the past, and now, well, I work with him. Hello, Hisui. Thank you for participating in Baki x Baki yesterday. So you're the guy. I didn't know. Now that was in the script. I'm not used to dealing with invaders or, execu or executives. It's true. I got overexcited when things went sideways. But with en things ending that way, I don't know how much the viewers will really buy. No. They may I have already forgot about it since it was just a random TV show. That ending was indeed quite the anti-climax. Halfway through, things seemed pretty interesting. But the person who wrote that the story uh, storyline produced some real garbage. And not just for Faki x Faki, the Dragon Keeper's brand was hurt too. That was quite the blow he took. Good grief. Don't you um don't you agree, he's sweet? Sure do. It's a shame. Well, it's fine. We learned our lesson for next time. Have you not learned you're trying um you're trying again? 
thing is, we had already been prepared for a big special episode for the end of uh, end of the year. Yesterday was kind of a test run for that, and we learned a good uh, tidbit from it too. Um, there's a limit to how um, exciting a hunt for just a regular foot soldier can be. Our next target, we should get an executive. <gasps> so you admit it, the Rangers can make executives. I close my eyes to that uh, to that farce of a hero play you guys do every week, you know. Um, because I thought it was worth it if the Rangers really needed to uh, to keep existing. Yes! So now she know she she knew the truth to an extent, but as long as we kept also killing executives in our secret ops, we and the Green Battalion st uh, staked our lives in that work. But if the Rangers are responsible for creating the executives in the first place, then whose fault was it that our Rangers died? Whose fault is it that my family died? Answer me. Who is my real target? It's you, isn't it? Ooh! Because that's right, Hisui's family was killed by executives. Technically, Sakurama's family was killed by executives, too. So, yeah, um... Yeah, it's your guys' fault. It's true that the power of the Divine Dragon can create executives, but let me just say this for the honor of the Green Battalion. In the first year of uh, the war when the Flying Fortress was attacked, all the executives were supposed to be defeated then and there. However, only one executive was there, along with a bunch of foot soldiers in it who didn't know anything. The executives slipped through our fingers, so it's true that the Green Battalion's work saved a lot of lives. Then why? Why all of this? Gucci Productions discovered the power of the Divine Dragons here in Milky Way City, as well as the five priestesses that served them. That's when everything started. Okay, so we're getting to the truth of the matter here. As a result, we created undying content that hasn't declined even after 14 years. Um, what's, what more sh of a Shining Beacon could you hope for uh, than an eternal story? Gucci, did Chidori know all this? He's not our first generation, but he's been working hard all the same, searching for executives left and right. He's done splendidly. No, he's not the first generation! No! Oh! Damn it! Um, Shoko uh, Sumi, I'm sorry, please don't move. Pink Battalion Junior Third Class and Yellow Battalion Junior Third Class. Uh, a Kuroko? Uh, since when? Hey, hey, is this all right? You stay right there, Gucci P. I need your help with the thing. We told you about this special thi uh, thing at the end of the year, right? I really wanted you to take part in it. You did win the last competition for what it's worth, so I was hoping you wouldn't fight too much. Ah, uh aha, uh -huh. have you ever played this game? A little game where you try to catch a ruler as fast as you can when someone drops it. It's true that a person's reflexes get slower as they grow older, but the average time it takes for a signal to come uh, through the eyes um, or from the eyes through the brain and um, to their hand is about 0.2 seconds. And the divine tool reduces that time to 0 0.001 uh, one of, uh, of a second, so a thousandth of a second, right? Yeah, um, how's that? This old man still got it. Sasan to Makoto, oh, I'm sorry. Please don't come back to haunt me. Stop. Come on, nobody said anything so violent. What I say is, th um, what I did say is that I want Junior First Class Hisui taking part in the show. Hold on, I want to go back to something here that I think is very important. Here, there's in the first year of the war when the Flying Fortress was attacked, all the executives were supposed to be defeated then and there. However, only one executive was there. Dude, is the Ram executive that we saw that, that we've been seeing through all this, is that the executive? Along with a bunch of foot soldiers who didn't know anything. The Ram executive, dude, I have to wonder if it is the, if that Ram executive is truly one of the original, if that is the, Ram executive. Only one, so only, so only one executive was there. The rest of them were alive. So, no, so all of them were still alive except for one. So the rest of the ones that the, that the green dragon keepers killed were, um, 
the green uh green battalion killed those were all real executives they weren't from what we're seeing from what was said here they weren't art that sounds like they weren't artificial um executives no it sounds like they were real so like patrol was real um the uh the one that killed um he Sui's family was real like all of them were real except for one Oh, well, the one that was killed there. So, whoa, that's what it sounds like to me. That's crazy. But hold on a second here. Sorry, please don't come back to haunt me. Um, stop. Come on. Nobody say things so violent. What I did say is that I want junior first class he sweet taking part in the show as an executive. What? Ah, oh, geez. What's going on now? It's an emergency. We have an intruder coming from the uh, the front entrance, and um, unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, it's Red Keeper Sose Akabane! Holy shit! So it's uh, the clone of, of Akabane. But I'm really curious what you guys think about that in terms of the executives. So the executives, for the most part, minus the one executive that was there, that was killed for the most part, those were all real, including the one, you know, obviously the one that we saw, um, the, uh, the bunny, uh, and the rabbit and the monkey one, obviously that, you know, is there. That seems like all of them are real. Those are real executives. The only, it seems like that's the case. It really does seem like that is the case. It does. I Again, I could be wrong. And then X is... But remember, X has said she was one of the original foot soldiers. She's... That's probably the truth about her, too. She is an original foot soldier. But the question is, then, how many of the executives that were made are fake... were fake executives? That's the real question. Because it seems to me like the majority of the ones that we've encountered here, I think they are real. I think those are those were real executives. But let me know in the comments or we'll probably we'll see if we'll find out the truth. Well, executive, I'm not talking about like what we saw in the Invader Association. Obviously, those are fake. Those were fake executives. We know that for sure. But the other ones, though, that we've seen throughout Ranger Reject that we've uh, come across, I feel like those, for the most part, are real. Those were real. Okay, so now let's get to... Um... 156, which is titled Yellow Rankers. Ah, uh, so say Akabane. All unranked rangers, you can leave the premises uh, to run to safety. Red Keeper is uh, currently in the middle of media work. Uh, sausage Ak Akabane smoked. This has to be some kind of uh, invader illusion. But wait a minute. The Red Dragon then that we, we've been seeing throughout this entire thing. That means... Dude, he's got, I'm telling you, that motherfucker, that red dragon motherfucker, he's an executive. He's got to be an executive then, right? He's got to be the dragon executive. He has to be. Le uh, he got to be. My fellow yellow rangers, their cunning trickery shall, will not shake our righteousness. This outlaw deserves nothing less than the uh, hammer of our justice. Ah, oh, jeez. What the hell is that, Kiratani? A foot soldier in disguise? If foot soldiers were that strong, their invasion would have succeeded long uh, long ago. I've always expected this uh, to happen one day, so our failed project is visiting to give his respects. Um, Kuroko, understood. Lord Yellow, since this looks like an emergency, uh, we'll come out too. If I stay here, I might get closer to the truth. Woo, here we go. Let's see if the fake Akabani dies. More of you... Uh, more of you, Kurokos. Former Red Keeper, your role is finished. You have to leave the stage. Oh, man. Sasayakabani is right in front of me. He's so close, so bright. 
Oh, he's going to vanish. I'm going to erase his light. I'm never going to forget you. Super Dragon Blaster! Ooh! How's that? This is the power. Ooh! This is the power of a modified Dragon Blaster! You're so cool! Teach that is sick! So this is the jun Yellow Battalion Junior Second Class uh, um, uh, Masamune um, uh, Karyasu 2. That is sick! This is the Vine uh, tool that actually gets used during the Sunday battles, right? I'm honored to get to see it from up close. I want to be, um, be able to make cool weapons just like that! And that's a junior uh, third class yellow battalion member, uh, Rui uh, Canar uh, wait, Canaria. There we go. <laughs> well, craftsmen's uh, well, um, well, craftsmen's aren't good talkers. I was like you back when I had just joined. Ever since I left my hometown, swearing I'd become a proper divine tool craftsman, I spent forever uh, just um, staring at Dai Dai's uh, back, trying to learn. When three years later, finally, Karyasu, I want to try, uh, want to try modding one. Mr. Dai Dai, remember, remember what happened with Dai Dai? Um, oh, that was just so cool. If you want to learn a craft, you've got to do it by watching a master. No, I found some guys online, so it'll work out. You, how dare you do that to teach? I won't forget you, fake red. Ooh, magical modified dragon gadget. Ooh, whip form. Hmm. Ah, uh, crap. Bye, bitch. Okay. Bomb form. I love that you just said, like, dude, I found this shit online. Fuck. Um. Boy, Baba! Uh, uh bye, 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 bye. What the fuck? Dude, this art is great. Did Yellow Garrison have a place like this? Uh, those fools. I told them I wouldn't take part in this. Welcome, fake red. This is the Divine Dragon Research Facility. Divine Dragon? Aw, oh, don't be so on guard. There's nothing to fear about the Divine Dragons. Um, that... Uh, power certainly went beyond um, human understanding in the past, but the Yellow Battalion research has revealed uh, most of uh, what there is to know about it. The Divine Dragons are merciful beings on the side of humanity. It's all safe, clean power. Dude, what the fuck? What happened to J uh, Jasmine Clean here, who's a uh, second class member? They are turning into a dragon. I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> Goodbye, my Sose Akabane. Uh, Baba, uh, Baba Bay, what the fuck? Cyclone form, let's begin the operation. Be quiet, your stories are too long. I didn't ask for them and I don't care. <laughs> don't get full of yourselves. This isn't your kind uh, stage to stand on. I'm the good guy. Ooh, that's what you think. I know you're watching, Yellow. Um, with that divine tool, huh? You're totally connected now. Hmm. Come, I'll kill you and the rangers along with you. Dude, what the fuck is going on with Red? Yo! Okay, let's see what we got here in 157. Which is titled, A Past You Can't Erase. We were once allies uh, who ate from the same pot. It pains me that I have to fight you directly, but I suppose this is my responsibility for creating you. Ooh, yellow. Go to the grave with regret for betraying both me and justice. I don't know if he's noticed, but he's being supplied um, a great amount of divine dragon power. The red divine tool, Hitoko, is, is she pitying him for their similar circumstances? Or is this just a tantrum? She's always been so cute. You know when you use a special attack, you just... That is so sick with what's happening with this. You just gotta yell out something. You're right. It's just uh, cool that way. Well, since we're doing this, we should go for a uh, mythological flair like... Yellow Ooh, Yellow Dragon Kirin! Oh, shit! Seriously? Woo! Quit it with the tricks! Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. I already know the powers of your divine tools. You can't take a prey, can you? Get him! Using all the cartridges yourself, if you shared, um... Wait, if you shared with them, uh, this could... If you shared them, uh, this could have... Yeah, if you shared with them, this could have ended up uh, this could have ended up differently. Well, they only just became rankers. I do want to lend uh, these to them, but last time I did, this happened. Yumiko Suzukiri. Um, okay, what's up? Uh, that's a 
divine tool. I haven't felt this at all before. Is that really the same divine tool I've seen before? <gasps> Dude, this is gorgeous. But there will be no end to it if we start giving human rights even to stuff like these. Life is born from love between people, not created artificially with machines like these. Dude, this is beautiful. After being given life, they have the right to live it. Nope. No, they don't. Woo! Dude, I love this. This kind of is um the brain to the eye. Like, remember what was said about, or what Yellow said about that one thousandth of a second. Yeah, that being said, um, monopolizing stuff has its advantages. The divine tools, uh, their synergy is a thing of beauty. Ooh. Ooh, did he lose his arm? Fairly deflected it, huh? Stuff like this makes me wonder how it'd go if I had Tsukiyomi on me. It's a real shame, honestly, having a buddy st uh, steal from you. Even then, I have no grudge for Yumiko, um, only gratefulness. If it weren't for her, the Divine Tool replicas wouldn't exist. My dream, Dragon Keepers, the Divine Dragon Ranger, uh, Rangers can only exist thanks to her dedication. Not Yumiko Suzukiri, but her clone, you mean? Yep. Huh? This is my chance to kill Yellow. Um, but what about the other guy? I don't know anything about him. Stop! Oh, you, Wendy, was it? Attacking from behind? Uh, uh, behind is cowardly. I'll protect Yellow. I'll protect Yellow's butt. Let go of me, you dumbass. I see. I see. What? But dude, Wendy, what are you doing? Because well, let's be real. We all know that Wendy is, is, uh, is the ram. But... Why? Why is he protecting Yellow like this? Is it because he hasn't gotten to the truth yet? Like, hmm. I see, I see. That's how you see it now emotionally. You simply have to believe clones are entitled to being their own person. If you think you're just a substitute for someone else, you won't find any reason to keep on living. Yellow! Dude, that's actually a good, good point, though. I think he's got him there. Ooh, but what was this, though? A spark. Hmm. Uh, I can't dodge. Ooh! Damn! Oh, wow! Man, you're really frightening. Sane um, Midori Kawa, even though you're defective, if you just died when she stabbed you, it would have been a beautiful end at least. But fate is an ugly thing. What else do you hope to gain having such an empty life? You can just leave everything to the Dragon Keepers. Go and tell her that on the other side. Is yes! Dude, this entrance from Green is so fucking epic. I love that he just came in, like, right between them, too. That was sick. Green, God, I'll be taking charge of this fight. What are you even doing? What are you doing, even? I'm on your side, dummy. Do you understand what you're doing at all? <laughs> right back at you! Yo, Keeper uh, Shinya Kiritani, it's time you face up to your actions. Yes! Tadori is the best fucking character in this manga. I do not care. Ooh, we got a sweet color page, too. And with everyone up in here. Aww. And there's X's, too. I really hope D isn't dead. But it really feels like D is dead. Oh, it's, oh, it's a waifu cover. I just realized that. It's a waifu cover. Well, minus one. Well, I'm not into lollies like that. But if you're a lolly con, there is a lolly for you too. But, anyways, 158 is titled Flame and Ice. But man, it really does feel. And I'm not into um to old like old old women either. So if you're if you're into Gale, so you have that too. But man, if D is really dead, like I think he is from like because I know I should have realized that like a long ass time ago. But yeah, I really hope he isn't dead dead. But yeah, here we go. Now we're at the final chapter of this live reaction. Oh dear, Sir Yellow got caught, huh? I suppose the winds have changed now. I'm gonna bounce then. Dude, what the fuck? Hey, show me your face again. Wendy, what side are you on? Bye-bye. See you later, Junior First Class Hisui. Dude, that is, that is the Ram. That is the fucking Ram executive.
Seriously, we will get that reveal and I will be proven right. I don't have time to go after this guy right now. Green, you bastard! Hey, quit with the superhuman strength. That's supposed to be my bit. Tutori, what's going on here? Release me. I'm going to kill Yellow and then I'll be complete. Uh, my character arc will finally be complete. Well, yeah, this guy's nuts. You'd have to be, um, you'd have to invade a ranger garrison all alone. Um, we're on high alert because of him. Not even an ant should be able uh, to come in or out. And a dragon keeper should be no exception. So tell me, Green, how'd you get it? Uh, how'd you get here? Oh, <laughs> by force! And by the way, are you not going to take off the suit? Hmm. I'm asking if you're not going to take off the suit. Otherwise, I'll have to assume you're trying to oppose me. Fine. Okay, I get it now. You've become quite the rebel, Green. It's a tough life fighting the tide. Explain, Chidori, if this is what I think it is, I can also... Sorry, Hisui, I wasn't planning on getting you involved. Uh, getting you involved. So, how can I help you? I'm a busy man, you know. Sane um, Midori Kawa, you used the Kuro um, Kurokos to conduct your assassination. Am I right, Yellow? Huh? What do you mean? You f Fuck off, you know. Yeah, punch that asshole! Yellow, your freedom is now in my hands. And also, I'll be taking command of the Rangers. Your role is over, Kiritani. Yeah! Chidori, I'm not letting that happen. Um, the Rangers are worthless without me. I'm going to destroy the Rangers. Oh, no need to rush. The end will come either way. All is as fate ordained. Behold. Ooh, the Phantom script. You're the one who had it. All of you are invited to the grand finale of Dragon Keepers, the Divine Dragon Rangers. He has the script! It's been two days since that fake uh, red attack, the Yellow Garrison. The official announcement sent, uh, said that they defeated him with Green Keeper's help, but that sounds like a lie to me. Okay, good. D is still alive. Do you happen to know anything about it, Foot Soldier D? I don't. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. How are you alive anyway? Didn't you die on Baki Baki the other day? Nah, forget it. Just about everybody thinks that show is all scripted anyway. Uh, that ending was really disappointing, after all. They tried to make do by defeating that other invader, uh, but then the Neo Rangers left right away, and that in, um, invader fight uh, Izomi suddenly just vanished. Even that, even I have to admit it left a bad taste. Um, I watched it la uh, later on in recording, so that was your doing. What? But, uh, won't you be in trouble if the rangers find out about this? You think so, too? I might get purged or something. Huh? <laughs> Man, it's cold here. Look, I don't want to die, uh, so, uh, don't tell anyone, okay? I don't want her to die. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Well, what? And it wasn't you, right? The one who killed Blue. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I just... Can't really believe uh, that that guy could get killed by a foot soldier. You guys are, you know, you're uh, weak. <laughs> what an ass! Is this you uh, trying to put it delicately? The big pink battalion erased almost all the evidence, but even looking at what uh, was left, I believe there's a high chance that um, Executive um, Patrola was involved. Well, duh. Doesn't seem like Izomi thought the same, but am I right? Yes, but yeah, so Izomi is frozen, but she she is alive. Remember, Izomi basically turned into an, um, frankly, into an executive, so to speak. Did you call me here just to ask that? All I did was spread the info that Blue Keeper was spending his day off around here. So thank you for coming. Come on, let's have a heart-to-heart -heart by the fire. Kisuke Soma has no reason to fight against Fo Foot Soldier D, not one. Yes, you do! I'm the one who ran a blade through the previous Blue's heart! Huron and Vader were fated to fight. That's why I'm able to fe feel the reason why I was born. The reason you were born, huh? If we can recreate that moment right here, then no, let's not. Look, I don't have much of a sense of justice like Blue did, and it's not like I hate invaders to death either. I have this gambling debt, you see. This is just a job I'm doing to pay it off. Gamble? <laughs> this kind of stuff, there's no um, going back. But Izomi still, she wants to reverse fate even if she has to stop being human for it. Can you please forgive her? Huh? That leg. She's the one who took it from you, right? That wasn't on Baki Baki, but now you've uh, both lost something. Uh, can you call it a draw? What, why would I? Uh, you want me to forgive? I don't get it. If somebody has the right to hate me, I'm not such a loser as to hate her for that. I see. D is so awesome for that. I see. Thank you. For what? I really have to thank you. If you said you wouldn't forgive her, that'd be the end of my day, um, the end of my day off. Huh? 
It's been half a year since my last break. I want it to last. Well, let's fight then. I welcome it. Nah, dude. Look, I know that I'm not being a Ma Ranger here, but I just um, moved by emotion. Well, I, I also have a bad taste in my mouth. Let's fight, Blue Keeper. I wonder about that. You, you're just, uh, how do I say it? You're so earnest. <laughs> I don't hate that. Don't you judge me by your human standards. I'm an invader. I'm not like you. I was born as an invader. There must be a reason for that. Um, um, you're D, right? This way, this way, please. Woo! Okay. So, we're really getting to the nitty gritty here. We are. So, but there's still one thing, though. There's a few things. One, we still don't know what what's going on with the with the, that bastard red dragon. We don't. We don't know. Two, we still got to get the ram the ram executive right to Wendy to confirm that he's the ram executive. I have to wonder though why he held Hisui back. Uh, why Wendy held Hisui back was because he sensed. Um, well, one, he wanted Yellow to die for one thing. And he wanted to see if Red was going to do it. The other thing was that um, he probably could sense that Chidori was coming. So there is that as well. But Chidori has the final script. He has the script. Man, so we're at chapter 158 right now. I think Ranger Reject's going to end at chapter 200. I could see this manga ending at chapter 200. And if I remember correctly, I think that's when Gotoba no Hanayomi ended was, I'm going to just double check here real quick, but I think Gotoba no, if Gotoba no Hanayomi ended, it's going to bug me. I think Gotoba no Hanayomi ended. No. Okay, so... Gotoba no Hanayome, actually, this manga has gone on longer than Gotoba, Gotoba no Hanayome. Gotoba uh, no Hanayome ended at chapter 122. I thought it went longer than that. Um, I covered all, I covered Gotoba no Hanayome to the end. But, um, so yeah, so this manga I could see ending at chapter 200. I could, based on the trajectory. Because what we have left to do is... We got, um, we have to see the Ram executive, when he get confirmed as the Ram executive, we got to get the shit with the dragon, um, confirmed because that red dragon is the cause of a lot of this fuckery. I have to, that's another thing too. I have to wonder if that lone executive that was there with the dragon keepers that day was the dragon executive. That's a great question. Was it the dragon executive that was there? That's a good question, but I don't think it is. I think the dragon executive is the, um, that the dragon executive is the little red dragon bastard plays a role in all this. He does. Um, why they're still going like he's the, he is the one that is the cause of all this. I still think that that bastard is the final, is, uh, is Endgame. He's the final boss. I really, really want to believe that he's the final boss. I really want him to be, I, cause I really want him to be the final boss of all this. I feel like, I felt like that's been the case since the beginning. I really have. And I really want to see that through to the end. But one, I really want, the other thing I want to see, though, in terms of with Wendy, because Wendy is the Ram executive. I want to see, like, a heart-to-heart -heart between Wendy and, um, and D. I feel like we need to see that and also get that confirmation. Because you can make the argument that Wendy is that lone executive that was there. But I want to know what you guys think in terms of the executives, which ones were real and which ones were fake. I think the majority, as I said, I think the majority of the executives were real. I do. I think they were real for the most part. I think that um, the only executives that 
were fake for the most part. Were the ones we saw, um, I think Yellow was fucking with Hisui for the most part. I do. But I think the ones, obviously the ones we saw with, uh, um, uh, with, uh, uh, with the Invader Rights Associations were obviously fake. But I think the, I think how they figured out that uh, um, the invaders, or the, not the invaders, obviously invaders, but the executives could be made from humans, or be, you know, turn, humans could turn into invaders, is because, like we saw with Wendy, because Wendy is obviously the RAM executive, is because the executives can have human form. I think that's how they figure that out. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys think of these chapters? What you guys think of Ranger Reject? Do you guys see Ranger Reject ending around chapter 200 like I do? Um, and what do you guys think of Chidori coming in like a boss like that? Dude, Chidori is just everything. And what do you think about, um, about D uh, and that conversation with Soma about forgiveness? I really like that. I, I like that D is just like, whatever. He don't give a fuck. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Ranger Reject content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.